Wolf coming at you with a quick little video, man. Um, <clears throat> shout out to, to the brothers and sisters that, you know, I rock with. Because I have a very small circle. I really don't fool with a lot of people. I've been that way my whole life. Um, but right now, I just want to point out an example of psychological operations. I want to point out an example of how brute force, brute force will never be as strong as deception. And to give you guys an uh, understanding as to why I be saying a lot of the things that you see on um, YouTube, TV, or whatever, it be fake, right? Fair use, first off. Let me put that out there because they hit me with a copyright. <laughs> Remember the little bullshit song I was playing for like 20 or 30 seconds or whatever? They hit me with some copyright shit for it when I was um, riding to the city and I was talking about the um, all of the fires and stuff that's been popping up and I went into the Bible thumping shit and all these people who are Christians and don't follow their own shit and talking this bullshit about scripture. Well, that same video that I did in the beginning when it first started playing, they... Um, I had a song from, you know, that I was listening to playing while I was making a video. And it only played for like 20, 25 seconds. They put some copyright shit on it. So more than likely, they probably won't even show that shit to nobody else. Um, it'll probably be one of the couple of videos on my channels where I don't get very many views. But for anybody that's been paying attention, 50% of the people that subscribe to me watch my videos. All right. I get at least 50% or close to 50% of the views on every video that I make. But the reason why I bring all of that up is to say I'm one of the most dangerous fucking people on YouTube because they won't even allow my channel to thrive or flourish simply because of the message that I bring. And it's so unorthodox and it's something that people are not really ready for. But if they had an opportunity to really hear me out fairly, like really fairly hear me out, they realize that I'm really on to something. And they learned that from my first channel. Keep in mind, this is my third. Now, here it is. We got Fred Flintstone on screen here to get to the main topic. All right? You know, I try not to make my videos too long. And if you go through them, you'll notice that. They don't, they don't be very long. But I just want to show y'all Fred Flintstone for a second. I'm going to play this little clip, and then I'm going to give y'all my little tidbit, and then I'm going to bed. I was supposed to went to bed, but this group text shit that we be doing, <laughs> the, the group little text chat shit we be doing, like, it be lit in there. Like, you can't, like, smoke a joint or nothing or, like, drink a couple of beers and then go in there and read that shit because they be in that motherfucker tripping. But let me play this real quick because I want to stay on point. Anytime y'all see me do screen shares, I do them for a reason. Um, So let me play this and we'll get to the main topic. I think we've done a good job of making sure that we get uh, a significant majority of our population vaccinated. Um, that's happened. Uh, we want people to continually update their vaccinations, as you know, in order to avoid the newest strains of the flu. People go in every year, particularly the most vulnerable, to make sure that their flu vaccines are up to date. Now you'll be able to do it all in one shot. As I understand, there'll be a combination of the COVID vaccine and the flu shot for people who want to do that. Uh, what? Huh? What? Huh? In my fucking Will Ferrell voice in Daddy's Home too. What? Huh? But we're going to continue to communicate about this. As you've seen, there's been an uptick in cases recently. Uh, but, but still, there's a very low... An uptick in cases. Motherfucker, you look like a tick. That, that's been clutching to a motherfucker's artery. You. F mm -hmm. <sighs> -hoo 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 -hoo. Anyway, continue. Level of transmission across the state of Illinois. I'm very pleased about that, and it's because the people of Illinois have taken good care of themselves and each other. So, no mask mandate or school exclusion or anything like that? No. I, in, in fact, I will tell you that I, I find it uh, you know, funny that you see. Uh, on Facebook, the Facebook 
fakery uh, about, you know, some kind of coming mandate. Nobody's even talked about that. That's not a real thing. Uh, but what is a real thing is people need to take care of themselves, and particularly those who are most vulnerable. We're talking about people who are sick, who have cancer. Let me play that one more time. Let me, let me play this one more time, the last 30 seconds. Let me go back. People of Illinois have taken good care of themselves and each other. So no mask mandate or school exclusion or anything like that? No. Right. And he said no mask mandates or school exclusions, right? The person that's interviewing him or talking to him. Did y'all hear that? He said no mask mandates, no school exclusions or nothing, right? Right? Now listen to this. Listen to this guy. Let me, I'm just, you try not to give these people no energy. Because like I had been telling y'all from day one, I'm all over this. I remember the first time I heard Red Wolf ask, do you know who your state legislators are? Do you know who your local, reg local legislative and um, representatives are? I was screaming at my phone like, hell yeah, bro, because I know them all. They, they, they not, none of them ain't no good. <laughs> I know every last one of them. It's like Gotham City around this motherfucker. <laughs> Listen to this shit. Look at the fucking smile on his face when this guy asked him about lockdowns and shit. Because y'all know Illinois was fucked up. Like California and, 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 and New York. It was fucked up. And everybody know it. Look, even I got to laugh, right? It is, I'm only laughing because I know the scam. I know they ain't not shit. I know, I know the motherfucker you looking at on screen is as evil as evil can be. Period. It's just that Oh, trap jaw looking ass, he man ass motherfucker. Get your goofy ass out of here. But listen to this shit. Listen to this. In fact, I will tell you that I, I find it, uh, you know, funny that you see uh, on Facebook the Facebook fakery uh, about, you know, some kind of coming mandate. Nobody's even talked about that. That's not a real thing. Uh, Do you hear him? Do you hear him? Because that was a big deal, right? Especially if you fuck with the Long Wolf channel, right? Because I travel. I don't stick in one spot. I was going to all different places in Illinois where they weren't worried about no mask. You go in the gas station or the grocery store where nobody saying shit to you. The further away from Chicago you went, the goody you were. <laughs> I was the motherfucker that got on YouTube and was telling people, you do know you can take Chicago city limits, they streets, right into the state of Indiana. You do know that, right? You do know you could cross over from the Chicago city limits into a whole nother state that they call Indiana. <laughs> and when you go over to Indiana, they won't know none of that shit. They won't know none of that. So for this motherfucker to talk about the Facebook fuckery and let's put the screen, let's highlight this nigga. This fucking, mm, I'm trying to be civilized, but I'm, I'm kind of amped up behind this little group chat, text chat thing. We done had because they motherfuckers been going in for the last hour and a half. <laughs> let's focus on this clown. You sitting up here lying, right? Because they finna bring it back. All right? This is an example of, I tell you about the psyops, man. When no motherfucking COVID and all this other shit, I just told y'all they took down my original time for this shit. And to this day, I don't say the jab and, you know, got stuck up or did this, that, the other. I say, motherfucker, you took the shot. Period. You can take this channel down. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give Listen, if you got motherfuckers on, on national TV, like this fucking prick, you see right here that they call... J.B. Pritzker talking the way he talking and you want to take down my whole fucking channel then you go right the fuck ahead man all that does is prove that y'all ain't shit and that y'all not as powerful as y'all claim to be because here it is you allow him to say whatever it is he gotta say but when it come down to me I did something wrong when I go to speak how I want to speak motherfucker it was fucked up here in Chicago only I'm gonna say it one more time Doing COVID? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> this is another example of me telling y'all this is why they took my channel down. This is the reason why I took my channel down, man, because I was going around showing people actual footage. All you got to do is talk to people that was down with me from my first channel. They'll tell you. 
I was going around showing real footage. Let me tell you something. It was fucked up in Chicago and in Cook County and nowhere else. The further away you got from Chicago, the further away you got from Cook County. Ain't nobody talking about no mask and all that other shit. Whereas we in Cook County and in Chicago, motherfuckers are ready to fight. People would keep ready to fuck each other up. And I know this to be a fact because I was one of them. Because I was one of the fucking people that didn't want to comply with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was one of the people that didn't want to comply with this. So we're going to go back again and we're going to listen to this fucking rat bastard. This, as you've seen, there's been an uptick in cases recently, uh, but but still there's a very low level of transmission across the state of Illinois. I'm very pleased about that, and it's because the people of Illinois have taken good care of themselves and each other. So no mask mandate or school exclusion or anything like that? No. I, in, in fact, I will tell you that I, I look, find look, it... Uh, look, immediately he started laughing. Look at this man. I'm trying to do everything in my name, in my name to not call him out of his name and give him that kind of energy. I'm doing everything in my power, but this is right here what I'm trying to do when I show y'all the PSYOP. I'm trying to show it to y'all, man. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Even he laughing. Even he laughing. Because, you know, fuck the world, they finna bring that shit back. <laughs> Listen, let me explain something to y'all. Shit here in Illinois is chaotic as ever. You do know that Right now, it's okay for grown-ass men to go in the bathroom with little-ass girls. You do know that. And I'm going to put this out here for anybody who stay and watch this video to the end. All right? Because I don't make long videos, and y'all know that. Most of my videos are fairly short. Right now, in Illinois, it's okay for a grown-ass man. When I say a grown-ass man, I'm 46 years old. I'm 46 years old, man. I'm 6'1". I weigh like 207 to 210 pounds and they saying it's okay right now for me in the go for me me to go in the bathroom with a nine-year-old girl with an 11 12 13 year old girl it's okay to do that here now they converting bathrooms over and everything they talking about getting rid of the goddamn urinals and everything it's like well you might as well cut my balls off and shit now you're gonna take away the urinal they talking about it's disrespectful to have urinals in the bathroom here in Illinois because of a fucking snug ass piece of shit cocksucker like this fucking prick you see here. You space jam looking motherfucker. Because you're a piece of shit. It's because of motherfuckers like you, they took down my first channel. I'm still trying to talk to some of the people that, that you know, I kind of fuck with in my little circle. I'm still trying to tell them, like, man, are y'all not hearing me? They took down my first channel with, like, 400 subscribers, 450 subscribers, man. What part, what are y'all not getting about that? What are y'all not getting about? You think I'm finna see 15, 2,000, 30,000 subscribers? How? How am I ever going to reach that on a platform like this when they took my shit down for 450 subscribers for making videos like this? Well, you're going to laugh. You laugh, you fucking bastard. When motherfuckers ask you, oh, so really, are you going to be doing lockdowns? And here it is. They closed all the schools. They closed all the goddamn libraries in the state. But you can still go to the liquor store. <sighs> September 19th, the whole thing about the no cash bail and all that shit, that shit take effect. You got motherfuckers posting shit about random shit about our people getting shot, going into Dollar General and all that motherfuckers getting shot and this, that, and the other. And you started telling me I can't protect myself. I got to go ask for permission for concealed carry. I got to, God damn it, go and do this, that, and the other to go buy ammunition and all this other shit. Y'all motherfuckers is out of y'all mind. Not, they ain't no y'all. And particularly, this motherfucker on the screen right here is out of his motherfucking mind. You motherfuckers are what you call the epitome of... Of evil. You hellraiser looking motherfucker. With the goddamn gargles on and shit. Licking his lips and shit. Goofy ass hellraiser ass nigga. Because that's what y'all about. Raising hell. But that's alright though. I just wanted to point this out. I'm going to get out of here. I ran over about four minutes man. I just want to point out how. 
All of this shit is all bullshit. You all remember it was me that put the video out in Chicago, going around to major hospitals in Chicago. One of them being in the top three, the top five in the world, which was the University of Chicago. You remember it was the original Lone Wolf that went around to them hospitals when they told you they were setting up triages in the parking lot. Oh my God, we're being overrun. It was some straight up fucking uh, 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 Walking Dead type shit when, when Rick Grimes first woke up and shit left alone in the hospital type shit. That's what they told you was going on here in Chicago. I went to Holy Cross. I went to Jackson Park. I went to motherfucking University of Chicago. One of those triages set up in the parking lot. Remember, the original loan will put that video out. Remember, that video made me a target on YouTube. Right along with the shit that I was posting about the fucking George Floyd shit when I showed y'all real footage of them tearing up the fucking city of Chicago. Not to mention the shit that I broke down to y'all about when I came back from Indianapolis. Keep in mind, they tore up Indianapolis first. I went up there after that shit kind of calmed down and they hadn't still tore up Chicago yet. Do you understand? Are you not hearing me? When I first originally tried to go to Minneapolis, my homie was like, don't come right now. It's crazy as fuck and blah, blah, blah. The shit had just happened. He's like, bro, they done tore up the whole fucking city. Now, mind you, he from Chicago, from the south side. He's like, bro, they done tore up the whole city. Don't come right now. It ain't a good time. Two weeks later, two and a half weeks later, I go up there. I know they tore up Minneapolis because I was there. I saw the aftermath. Keep in mind, they hadn't tore up Chicago yet. I was the motherfucker putting the real footage Actual footage on YouTube of them tearing up Chicago. I was the one that brought up the PSYOP and shit that they was running in Minneapolis. And the fucking U-Haul truck they was in. We was in this motherfucker. We was standing outside the little bar slash pool hall or whatever tripping. I'm talking about, man, I know I done had a few drinks. I've been smoking weed the whole night. When they pulled that PSYOP off in that fucking U-Haul truck, we were standing back like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, ain't no weed never did this to me. What the fuck is this shit these niggas on? What is this? This ain't no hallucination. What the fuck are you niggas on? I went in there and stood there smack in the middle of it. Like, what the fuck y'all doing? What is This shit is weird. Remember, I was the one who did all that. To show y'all that brute force won't never be as strong as deception. They're doing a lot of fake shit on the news. And a lot of real shit that they don't put on the news. The thing, the video I made about White Sides Park. That was to take away the guns, man. Didn't no motherfucking body get shot inside a motherfucking Comiskey Park? It's Comiskey Park. Fuck what y'all talking about, nigga. I'm a Chicago nigga. All that other shit y'all calling the U.S. Cellular and all the bullshit they calling today, nigga, is Comiskey Park. Didn't no motherfucker get shot in Comiskey Park. Didn't no motherfucking bullet rang out from 42nd and Princeton and fly all the way down to 35th and Princeton inside a motherfucking the bleachers inside of Comiskey Park? That's bullshit. Ozzy Ginn to tell you that's bullshit. He didn't just play for the White Sox. He used to coach him. I remember that nigga used to come to Benny's all the time. All he bought was stogies. No bought no alcohol. Never seen him buy any alcohol. Anytime he ever came in the motherfucking Benny's. And I used to give him pounds of shit. Ozzy, what's up, bro? For any motherfucker who watch sports and fuck with baseball and all that. Ozzy Ginn. That nigga tell you that shit fake. There's no way in hell you shot off some bullets and you niggas police looking for bullets on the ground and shit. Shell casings on the ground. How y'all looking for shit on the ground and you talking about this shit ran way up in the fucking bleachers a mile away and hit somebody in the motherfucking ballpark. That's bullshit. You niggas are running psyops because you want to take the guns from everybody. You want to take the pow pows and the cracker jacks and shit from everybody, man. That's what y'all niggas on. That's what y'all on. Nigga, look here. Let me tell you something. Even motherfucking Slowpoke Rodriguez carried a gun. That was my dude. For all you old heads, remember Slowpoke Rodriguez and Speedy Gonzalez and shit? Those niggas was cousins. Speedy Gonzalez was an asshole because couldn't nobody catch him. Slowpoke Rodriguez was high all the time. All you hear him talk about was La Cucaracha. La Cucaracha. But this nigga carried a pistol and he will pop the fuck out of you. Straight up. They, if you don't understand that, you don't understand how Speedy Gonzalez and motherfucking Slowpo Rodriguez got down. They trying to take the bang bangs from everybody. They trying to take the acme and everything. Straight up. Straight up. 
motherfucking Wiley Coyote don't need Acme no more to get the road running and all that. They going to take all that shit. They taking everything. The dynamite, everything. Slowpoke Rodriguez, Banger, everything. They want it all. And if y'all don't think that that shit is what this is about, y'all crazy as hell. Same thing with a lot of these shootings. Some of them are real, some of them ain't. Like I told y'all before, the shit they plaster all over the news, all over the world, every station and shit for 10, 12, 14 days, that's the shit that's fake. The stuff you barely hear about or the shit that they may broadcast it for a day or so and that's it and you never hear about it again, that's the shit that's real. You see how they're trying to cover up the Maui shit? And I'm going to shut up because I know I could be a roadrunner when it comes to talking. Look how they're doing the Maui shit. That shit is shh, shh. We know we fucked these people up. Shh, don't tell anybody. Semper die. Not Semper five, but Semper die. Period. Shh. Straight up. And that's what we dealing with. Shit they want to keep hush. Stories they keep changing. Like COVID. Shit is all fake. You constantly change the story about the COVID narrative. But then you want to be hush about the Maui shit. People have specific and legitimate questions. And motherfuckers quiet about that. But the story about COVID changed over and over again. And the fucking story about the vaccine changed even more than that. I'm out of here, man. This little vision along with. I probably won't make another video for another week or so because y'all know how I am. I'm not finna just be getting on here. Y'all either wait the fuck up or you don't. If you don't understand something that I'm dropping, inquire. Ask me a question. Ask for resources. And I'll godly, godly and kindly point it out for you. But this is it, man. I ain't finna be on here all day, every day doing this shit, man. Y'all gotta wake the fuck up. Like, this shit is going down, man. Like, it's getting real. To where it's gonna touch all 50 states and all counties within those 50 states. That's the bottom line. When you got a motherfucker on here laughing about somebody asking them a question about, hey, man, y'all going to be doing lockdowns and shit again? Y'all going to be making it where kids can't go to school and all this other bullshit? And this nigga immediately start laughing, man. I'm gone because I'm not finna get irritated. I'm, I'm, I'm just not. I'm up out of here. It's original Longwolf, man. Peace.